Okay, get your face. Hi, Hi here guys. we are. Like oh. we promised. See, I told you my little cheese. Oh. Be quiet, Stuart Eugene. And here comes Mugu Gaipan. I knew she'd be a problem. Ooh. Well, we're working on art today. And I must be honest and say, I have not painted in... Remember that one day a long, long, long time ago when we got watercolors? And we got those art kits, remember? We went to Walmart and we bought all kinds of art stuff. Yeah, when what's so the nuts was still around. When what? Well, when I left for California... You know. Oh, no, this was back when you were a kid. You know, you were, you know... Well, you were doing you did art stuff when I went back to California. I did some drawing. You did a... You and... What's his face? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So All right. Well, it hasn't been that long, but that was goofy painting. That wasn't serious painting. But it's been a long time, and really, I haven't worked with acrylics in since high school, to be honest. The crow here is a pro with acrylic. So, at least she's here. I can have her help me if I need help, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure I will. Well, that feels good. It's because it's hair. Because that's a good paintbrush, right? These two brushes I got from a teacher of mine when I went to and took my classes. At Fairmont, remember? Yeah. He loved me. And I, I only had a couple brushes, so he brought me these brushes. His Dirt class, Eugene. His class was watercolor, specialty watercolor. Just watercolor. I like watercolor. That's really my favorite. And these were from his personal collection. I felt a little bad because I felt like people thought I was being teacher's pet. I'm like, no, I'm just poor and broke and I can't afford brushes. So <laughs> he's being <laughs> nice to me, so don't be hating. <laughs> it wasn't really mostly kids. It was adults, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was me. I, there was one other young girl, and then it was two older people. And it was a fun class. We had fun. Yeah, I remember you enjoyed that. We literally just would paint. Yeah. This one woman, I don't, I honestly don't remember. I don't know if she's alive or not. But she, I don't, I don't really know if she lived in her car. Really? But, That's kind of sad. Or if she was like a hoarder. And she, Stuart Eugene, he's so jerky. But we, one of our first days, and this is part of the reason why I liked it, for because it was a weird way to start off your first class was go to the cemetery. <laughs> he's like, let's go. See, to the I would have liked that. I would have thought that was it. cool. I loved it. I'm like, that's so cool. And that's when I painted a mausoleum. Stuart. A he, jerk. He went around and he was like, is this the, what you want to paint? I'm like, yeah, I think I want to paint this. So he took a bunch of different angles and pictures. And then he did the same for all the other students. So he went and take pictures of different angles and of the items and tombstones or other mausoleums or trees or buildings that they wanted to paint. And then we'd spend the rest of that lesson and a couple lessons after focusing on painting that. I never actually ended up finishing the mausoleum painting because I felt like it looked better unfinished. <laughs> I have a lot of your paintings from that little time period. Yeah, the one behind me. Yep, your Indian guy. He's right there. Watercolor. Yep, on the wall. That's one of yours. 
one of those slow kind of days, isn't it? Here there's the holiday is coming up. I'm so mad I can't find Pachki anymore. It was like it was out for a day and now it's gone. That's because it's so popular. And for those that don't know what Pachki is, we call it Poopski. Well, I call it Poopski. It's like a... It's a fancy-ass donut. It's like a Czechoslovakian donut, I think. Wait, let me... Let me and it's it. good. It always has, like, a cream filling in it. And it's just... I don't know. There's just something about it that's... Where did Pachki's originate from? No, not the Siberian Husky. <laughs> Thank you, Google, you fugle. Where did Pachki's come from? Poland! Well, I could have told you that. Oh. Ski. Because it has ski on the word. That, that's how. I don't know why I thought it was Czechoslovakia. My little guy. He's going to be cute. By the way, every, anybody watching, he's, he needs a little Hawaiian name. I haven't come up with one yet. You know, he's kind of a spiritual kind of guy. He's a, he's a little offering guy. I'd call him Keto Orange Nipples. He's spiritual crow. But he's got such it's cute not a little a joke. Ugh, I'm not really the best at this, but he is kind of getting like little feathery looking hair. And of course, that's probably going to change when I put his skin color in there, but could go over it on the edges again and put the little hair because it looks like it's kind of feathered. Look, he's cute. He's starting to take some shape. Are you going to paint? I'm Yay! Trying. Crow has been in a, what would you say? A art block? An art block, yeah. I think it's not, it's not necessarily a block as it is you're just not really motivated. Your no, mundane it's, world is... No, it's a block is... because I've sat down and tried sketching shit and I'd spend hours doing it and nothing. Well, we're going to change that. Okay, you just can't have that. I kind of like it, this little dude. Oh, it's kind of Thank you. There, see, he's starting to take a little shape. He's got his little dark hair. You know what I don't know what to do is to make all this like in the front here. Like should I I kinda think blue. Yeah, like, like water. Ocean, you know, ocean color. Yeah, I do blue like the ocean. And then back here, I'm not so sure what to do. He's going to have skin, I guess. I don't know. He's wearing pants. He's not naked. Mm -hmm. These aren't water soluble oils, are they? Did you know that they make a thing now? I've where heard that, yeah. Instead of using the flaxseed oil, like turpentine or whatever. Yeah. That was a pain in the ass. But they're ten times more expensive. Of course. Anything new and the thing that blows my sure mind though is life easier is gonna cost more. There's always this misconception that oils oil paints are way more toxic than any other paint. And a lot of these acrylics are actually labeled as non toxic even though they have way more chemicals than most oil paints do. Because pretty much what oil paint is, is oil and pigment. <laughs> yeah. Acrylic has, some acrylic has like formaldehyde, all different kinds of chemicals mixed together. And it's labeled as non-toxic. And that's why you never want to put acrylic paint on your...
your skin. You never want to use it as face paint because one, it will stain, and two, it's poison. That's not good. Toxic, don't do that. There's this girl in high school, I don't, I can't for the life of me remember her name, but she put acrylic paint on her face for a Halloween day, whatever. There's that girl. Wasn't too smart. So, we have Ostera coming up. Mm -hmm. We don't really have any big plans in the works because I'll tell you what, life always finds a way to get in the way. It's kind of depressing how that is, but it's how it is. Like, we have no big feast planned or anything, no fun thing to do like we've done in the past. It's, I don't know. One of these days we'll get our crap together and do something fun and I don't know. I guess I'm sort of bummed that it's not spring-like around here because it's the sun is shining today, but it's very cold, very and cold. it's not, it doesn't feel very good as usual. And I'm hoping it's going to get better. Well, the sun's out now. Yeah, the sun's out, but well, is it cold out there? Not too bad. Better than it has been. There's snow. There was snow in the forecast for today, though. Well, they lie. Well, I didn't even wear a coat to walk. I guess there's a big nor'easter happening on the East Coast for Denise, my best friendy, my bestie. She went flew to New York on yesterday, and now she's probably... Got a big old fat snowstorm right in her midst. So, yuck. I'm mm -hmm. glad that's not us, I guess. Kind of just giving us a free throw. Oh, you put all that right on the thing. I'm doing abstract. Abstract. It's hard to talk and do stuff at the same time. He threw that right in my paint, you little booger. <laughs> I'm sorry. I meant to get it on the other square. <laughs> oh, did I get it? Let me get it. <sighs> the dogs are horsing around. Well, at least he's not sitting here whining, right? Really? I'd rather he was horsing than whining. You could tell this paint is so well, I'm glad we're going to use some of it. Then. This is going to be really ugly. Get out. Well, it's kind of textured like. Because it's old. That's alright. In my palette makes me chunky oil all over it. This just did some chunky stuff, but I don't care. Let it be chunky. I don't care. Where'd that black go? I'm going to put a little bit of that on here, too. Darken some of it. I'm kind of scared to do the shell part. I don't know why, but I am. This is like One. jelly. Yeah, it's like thick. I think for starters, I'm going to go right along here. Sunshine's really bright on that phone like that. It's probably hard for people to see, but I don't think I can fix that. I'm just going to start by doing this top part. See how it it's fun. I haven't done this in a long time. One of the things that I really like about oil is it's fun to paint with a palette knife. 
Yeah, that's not. Oh, look at that. Oh, you can also do it. With it looks like hair. icing right now. <laughs> I kind of want to lick it. Don't lick it. It's bad. I got my mouth hanging open. How's that look? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like cake icing. It'd be a lot smoother looking if my palette knife wasn't so ratchet. Okay. Well, because we, you know, have let our art supplies just sit in there for days and days and years and years. The last thing you really seriously painted was the cow. Beautimus rosemary plant that you're trying to kill already. It's only been in the house for a couple days. Yeah, maybe they weren't watering it good in the store. I wonder if the cats are eating it. I hope not. This is probably a boring video. Yep. See that? Oh, it smells so good. I'm going to smell it. Mm. should always have a little bit of rosemary in your home, on the entranceway to your home. We put it out on the porch. Protect us from boogans. You never know. You can't really trust people anymore like you used to. Certainly, a lot more to protect yourself from now than there was be before. It's too bad. This rosemary compared to that rosemary. Yeah. Hey, I'm proud of that rosemary. We kept that alive for a while now. Kind of excited to go to Walmart today because I'm going to get um, stuff to put clasps on the jewelry, like toggle clasp and crab claw clasps and um, It'll be a little different. I'm going to redo the goddess necklace and put a clasp on her so that, like, the goddess pendant will rest properly right square on your chest. You know, it'll be just the right length. I might work on that tonight, I think. What are you doing now? I'm watering the plants. Well, I noticed the Christmas cactus is looking a little peaked, too. I think that one needs fed. It also needs replanted. Yeah, so that's a good reason to give it plant food. Ah, this is making me nervous. This is where you could really wreck everything. No. Except I do feel like the shell should be blue. Like ocean blue. Well, that's the cool thing about acrylic. Once it dries, you can paint over it. And it's fast drying. So. Yeah. I'm going to add some highlights. So I want it to kind of look with some, like there's some white splashes on it, you know. Like it really is ocean water. I hope somebody's going to want a little Hawaiian guy. I am going to put him in the store, I think. If he comes out good... I 
I'm going to put him in the store because he's kind of cool for, uh, he could just be regular decor, but he would also be cool as like, um, on your, on an altar piece, you know, because he has his little shell and you could put things in the shell and, um, I think he's, he's kind of cool looking. I have other pieces like that that I've bought over the years to put little herbs in sometimes or you could put a coin in there if you're looking for to draw towards you material things or you want to offer something material. That's what he's purpose is for. He's he's a little offering lion guy. Oh, I should show him the tea warmer. The what? I don't know if anyone's ever tried the little DIY thing to clean the tarnish off of silver plated or sterling silver items. But freaking work. Yeah. Cody she, and I got this beautiful silver plated tea warmer, coffee warmer. And it was black when you brought it home. Yeah, it was like this. And then I did the DIY thing and now it's like this. That's pretty. And um basically you just boil some water and these little pieces, this little piece came off of right here, so it goes back on there, and it screws back on with these. I just took it off. I had Cody take it off because um, even though this is heat-resistant glass, I didn't feel like putting this in nearly boiling water. Um, but you basically boil the water. You take it off, you turn off the heat at once it's boiling and then you put in a crinkled up piece of aluminum foil, not like in a ball, but you just crinkle it up and kind of spread it back out and have it in the water. You have to kind of push it down and then you sprinkle about a tablespoon of baking soda and a pinch of salt. And then you put the tarnished item in there and you let it steep in there for a couple minutes. Pull it out to check its progress and you can visually see the tarnish just dissolving away. I'll have to post a picture on Facebook of what it looked like because... It was black. The top half was black, the bottom was this nice silver. Now there's still some tarnished parts on here that will obviously have to be scrubbed and more pol polished with something else. Mm -hmm. But for getting the majority of it off, I would say it's pretty damn good. Yeah. So if you're ever in a pinch and you don't feel like sitting there scrubbing your silver, boil that bitch. Yeah, <laughs> boil it. I want to do this thing that I saw where you take salt, I think you also add baking soda, and sea salt and water, and you put it in a jar with a lid, and it, the salt will literally form like this, when it, if the salt forms like a column, mm -hmm. it's soaking the energy out of your environment, the negative, oh, that's cool. the negativity, ooh, I just put my thumb in it, you know, and if it doesn't do anything, then it's, it's not pulling on any negativity, but if it does, it is, and then once it fills up, you can just go, you do it again, only you do it in another room, you know. One room at a time you can do it. I want to try that. I'll have to look that up. I posted that on Facebook, I think. Covers. They're mad because it's D-I-N-N-E-R. Ugh, I don't like going around these shells. That's oh show. That 
art. I am not like it. This is from the last time I did art. It was with watercolor and India ink. Oh. That's, I sort of remember that, yeah. I like... That was just screwing around, though, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Hey! Don't, hey! But I really like the fire one. What's in my... My own. Dude. It looks like there's an eyeball right there. Or like a... Tornado. He looks like a demon. Or like a, a floating wing. I'm not sure what to say demons are. I mean, I certainly do believe that there are kind of feral-like creatures that are kind of negative, or can be. I guess demon is just another way to describe something that's never been human. Maybe, yeah. You find the, the words demons and stuff like that more with Catholicism and Christianity and uh, Judaism and whatnot, but... I definitely believe there's things that have never lived as a human, though. There's so many dimensions that our little minds and our little third eyes that our majority not even remotely open right. can't even comprehend. Yeah, I would believe that. That's why sometimes when you feel like, oh, there's something really wrong with that person. I feel like they're not even human. Probably because they've got something that isn't human attached to them. I've had that happen a bunch of times where it's like, oh, there's just something so wrong with this person that's not just them. You know what? I've had things like that happen when I was using a pendulum. And you can just all of a sudden feel like you have no connection to spirit. where Whatever you're connected to just doesn't feel right. And it's like, ew, you just need to stop right now. I've had that happen before. I don't pay much attention to people anymore. It's weird. Probably because I never hardly leave the house or anything, but... And you know what I think as you get older too, you just don't give a shit? I'd love to not have to leave the house sometimes. Yeah, sometimes there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of peace in being alone. It's spoiling. I think it spoils you. It sounds like awful for some people that don't, you know, that like lots of activity around them all the time, but it's actually very calming to be alone a As lot. As a child, I always wanted constant stimulation. I wanted to be around all my friends all the time. I just wanted to be around people. And if I wasn't, I felt miserable. I felt lonely. But now, I'm like, that's all I want is to just not have to go out in the public and deal with people. But I, it was after I turned 13, 14, where I started to become a little more secluded, where I wanted to be alone a lot more. When I was in high school, like my senior year in high school, holy cow, like my senior year in high school, I, towards the end of it, like halfway through, I kind of dropped all my friends. I stopped socializing. I think I was just incredibly unhappy. I, I sit in my room on a Friday night. I either painted or... I just listened to music in a dark room, you know. I was That's not right. I mean, I don't know why I was like that, but I am a cancer, so it's because I was a moody person. I was a an empath and I had trouble in high school coping with that. Because what the <laughs> hell? Huh? Just take it. It's probably not the thing I should be eating right now, but I guess I don't give a shit. <laughs> mm, I love cheesecake thingies. All it needs is strawberry. 
You <laughs> turn around and you just got a big old slab in front of your face. <laughs> Feels like a Tuesday. Turn it up with my Danish on a Tuesday. Turn up Tuesday. I hate that expression. I'm going to go turn up. Getting turnt. I'm getting turnt. Oh my God. What Bet. the hell? Bet. Who thinks up this <laughs> stuff? It was weird. Someone just crawled by our driveway. What? What do you mean crawled? Like their car. Oh, great. I think it was some point the neighbors. Well, Frank doesn't like it, whatever it is. Frank! Quit it! He doesn't like it. Quit Yeah, quit it. Um, oh, um. I think I want some more of that, Judy. Oh, you want more? Yeah. That was a tease. Well, not a slab like you had. Like here? Yeah. It's also Reese's peanut butter egg time. Yes. Yeah, I like the white chocolate ones. I know that's like blasphemous for some people. But, oh, oh, wait. I gotta put my little Hawaiian dude down. It's blasphemous to talk about white chocolate and Reese's peanut butter eggs and stuff, but I like it. I'm a big white chocolate lover. Mm. I can't believe I'm eating this on a video. That's like weird. Didn't stop you any, did it? Yep. Mm -mm. Heart wants what the heart wants. <laughs> Don't go over all over my cheek. My heart wants spring really bad. It's looking a whole hell of a lot like spring out there. And did you, did you, did you I don't want any more snow. I want this to be the last of the snow. And I want some 60 degree weather. Oh, good breath. Oh, man. I feel it all the way over here.